Greetings from Team Rex team. Today we will talk about content restriction, password protection and setting up different user access levels. We will use query theme as an example. Let's say you have a website that consists of your homepage, different sub pages, elements, portfolio, blog and online store. And you want to hide some content from some users or protect it with a password. I will show you how to do that quickly, effectively and free of charge. First, go to your dashboard, then plugins, and click add new. Then in the search field type in content control. Now we just need to install this plugin and then activate it. Ok, we have it installed. Now go to settings, content control. This plugin has a super simple user interface. It consists of two parts, restriction rules and general tab. Currently, in the general tab, we can only set a denial message that will pop up if the user is not allowed to see the content. You can add any HTML code here. So let's return back to restrictions. Let's add the first restriction and make the site visible only for logged in users. Here we have three stages. In the first stage, we provide the restriction title and choose who exactly can see the content. We can choose only logged in users. We can also choose the exact roles that can see the content. On the second stage, we can set up the way we protect our content. You can make a redirect or show the denial message. Let's go with the redirect and then we can choose where to redirect the visitor – login page, home page or custom URL. Let's ask him to log in. And on the final stage, we need to choose which parts of the site should be protected by this rule. It can be a condition is or is not. Let's make it is. And choose the content type any page. You can also set conditions type or and end. I will add the condition or and choose any post. It means that this content protection rule will work on any page or any post. You can add an unlimited amount of conditions, customize and delete them here. As you can see, you can work with any kind of content you have on your site. Once done, click Add and then save the changes. Ok, the restriction is ready and we can check it. Since we are logged in as admins, we can see our website. But I have this site opened in a different browser. If I refresh the page, it will redirect me to a login form as we set it on our restriction row. Let's go back to our dashboard in the first browser and create a new user. Let's give this user a test name and test email address. And choose the role, let's say a shop manager. Copy the password and click add new user. Ok, our test user was created successfully, so let's go to our second browser and try to log in with new credentials. Excellent! Now we see the site with our Shop Manager user credentials. If we log out and then try to visit our site again, it will again redirect us to a sign-in page. And if we log in again as a Shop Manager, we again have access to the site. Now let's return to our admin browser and try to restrict widgets. Navigate Appearance – Widgets. Here you have all widget areas and widget themselves. You can show, hide some of your widgets for different user roles. For example, we have this sidebar advertising banner. Here you can choose who can see it. For example, let's make it visible only for logged in shop managers. Then click save. Now if we go to our website and open one of the posts with the sidebar, we will not see this widget under the admin row. 
but if we go to our second browser under the shopping managers row and open this post, we will see this banner. This way you can control your header, footer and sidebar widgets, visibility and different roles. Now let's go back to our admin browser and add another restriction rule. Let's say for a paid content. Who can see the content? Logged in users with the row shop manager only. Content protection type redirect to a custom URL. Let's find some WooCommerce product page where the site visitor can pay. Copy the link and paste it to the field. Then in the content type section, let's choose the selected page, home page. And then click on add button and save the changes. Now if we go to our home page as admins, we will still see it, despite the rule we will just created. That's because our first rule has a higher priority. But if we go back, change the priority by dragging and dropping, and save it, our paint content rule will have higher priority now. And now if I refresh the home page under the admins row, it will redirect me to a products page. But if I use our shop managers role and go to our home page, I'll see it without any redirects. So you can create redirection rules for your pages, posts, WooCommerce products, WordPress widgets and manage their priorities. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials. See you soon.